in this video, I'm going to kind of freeform on the word known as authoritarianism. There are other AU words like author, authority, authorization, and then there's authoritarianism. You can Google this word authoritarianism and you can see what exactly what it is and what it means and also what an authoritarian follower is. Authoritarianism is basically the system that the military uses or even organized religion uses. You follow orders without question. There's a chain of command. If you do A, B, and C, everything will be fine. If you don't do a, B, and C, you will be punished. A lot of times, this is by threat of some sort of physical pain or harm. Or restraint. Of course, in the military, there's the, the brig, the, the prison, the jail. And then with religion, it's hell. Um, you know, you have free will to do whatever you want to do. God gave you free will. But if you don't do what he wants you to do, you're going to burn in hell for the rest, all eternity, because you didn't do what he wanted you to do. But he loves you. So the military, even politics and things like that, authoritarianism is the basis of the system that we have in place. It doesn't matter what, si what branch of the system or subset of the system, it's all based on authoritarianism. Also, you could call it a spider system, where you have a head with a bunch of arms. And if you cut off the head, the system falls apart. But no one can ever get to the head. As opposed to the starfish system, where there's no head, all parts are pretty much equal. And there's no one individual making all the decisions or having all the authority. That's different than an authoritarian system. It's basically a co-community. Yes, I am aware that there are some people out there, very well-known people with lots of, more, you know, way more subscribers than I have out there who promote a starfish system, when in reality they're not promoting a starfish system, they're promoting a spider system. And the reason why is because you can just look at whatever they're saying, and if they're placing themselves at the head of the table, if they're placing themselves as the authority of this organization, that they're the be-all, end-all, they're the judge, jury, and executioner of everything that's going on, everything must come through them first before it goes anywhere else, it's an authoritarian system, and anyone who's in that system is an authoritarian follower. And what I mean by follower is you're behind the individual who's leading. And usually in those systems, knowledge is bottlenecked. So the reason why everyone's a follower is because they lack knowledge. And in that sense, they're following behind the leader. The leader, which is the head of the spider. If the head of the spider is cut, the followers have lost their source of knowledge now, and it just falls apart and it's done. That's the way it usually works. Whereas a starfish, if the knowledge is shared and everyone is basically rule one, rule equal on a geometric level playing field of contract, the knowledge is available, and it doesn't matter if one of the legs of the starfish gets cut off, it'll grow back, the starfish will move on and keep going. It'll keep moving forward, the verb of the thinking will be there unblemished as opposed to the spider organization. This is authoritarianism. This is what I'm trying to convey to you. If you're out and about and you're speaking to someone, doesn't matter who, say you're at a store, and they want you to do something that you, you don't want to do, and they begin yelling at you and threatening you, that's authoritarianism. That's someone trying to force you to do something. It's very easy to see. What is authority? Let's establish that. I've gone over this in multiple videos, but let's go over it again. Authority comes from knowledge and the skill to convey that knowledge, the closure of the knowledge. 
for example, I have this YouTube channel. I have 300 or so videos on this YouTube channel, all about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I've been studying this since the beginning of 2017. I've been teaching it since the beginning of 2018. So it's going on five years. I've been teaching this to hundreds of people all over the earth. And I am confident in my knowledge level. I'm competent enough of my knowledge level in this grammar that I will use it anytime, any place on the spot. And I can give closure to anyone who asks, who asks me grammar questions about correct sentence structure or even about the fiction. I have gotten into, I've been challenged by English teachers or professors or whatever and have no problem with that because I can explain the closure of where my knowledge comes from. And they, when it comes to that, they're stuck because I can show them a continuance of the evidence. The easiest thing to do is to bring out the particles of negation and they have no explanation for that because they didn't know that. <laughs> it's a lack of knowledge. I'm not going to tell them something like you got a second grade reading level or you lack knowledge. I'm not going to. That's not how it works. What I can do is when they ask me questions, if they come to me and request to board my vessel, now they're in my domain and now we can talk. And now I can challenge them, but I'm not going to go around trying to challenge people because that's bullying. I'm not here to bully anyone. I'm here to look at grammar performances and to teach people the grammar. Now to get back to authoritarianism. So I have authority over myself, autonomy in my construct. I'm an author. I write my own contracts. I write my own quantum grammar contracts. I know the flag mechanics. I know the postal mechanics. I can syntax a document. I can look to see if the grammar is correct. It's very simple. It's a very simple procedure. Anyone could do it if they learn it. The thing is, is I found that the majority of people don't possess the motivation or the will or the desire or how, the volition to maintain the rule one rule equal performances, investing the value in learning this stuff, whether that means investing value of now space, i.e. time, or value of some other sort to even out the value of the individual who's teaching them. Especially with this construct, what you put in is what you get out. This is called the rule one rule equal performances. So when talking about authoritarianism, we also have what's called authoritarian followers. Authoritarian followers are those that follow the head of the spider. They follow the leader. That's the reason why the game's called Follow the Leader. What usually happens in authoritarian constructs is a bottlenecking of knowledge. Because as I said earlier, what is authority? Authority is knowledge. So you can stifle someone's own personal authority by limiting the knowledge that you feed to them. Henceforth, you have a spider organization. You have an authoritarian organization where the leader who's at the head holds supposedly all the knowledge and he throws breadcrumbs over his or her shoulder to the followers. And then what happens if the leader's head gets cut off? What if the leader disappears, goes bye-bye? The followers fall apart because they don't have the knowledge that the leader had because he kept it from them and the organization falls apart. That's how it works. Knowledge is authority. Authority comes from knowledge. That's why on my YouTube channel, I have over 300 videos. I've shared all my knowledge to the best of my skill and ability to the public, free for anybody to come in. Well, it's not free because you have to spend time in studying it and put effort into it, but it's all here for you. I've hit nothing, held nothing back. Yes, I do correct uh, grammar performance workshops where I teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, but that's in the confidential. That's different. And there is nothing in the workshops that isn't available to the public right here on this YouTube channel. Because I'm all, I'm truly to the best of my ability and knowledge and skill. I'm about the starfish sort of uh, construct. 
truly. I mean, I see other individuals out here who have way more subscribers than me in the quantum grammar domain. Well, in quotes, quantum grammar domain, because I, anyways, and they promulgate the starfish model. When in reality, if you look at them, it's not that at all. If you see an individual who says that you have to have their autograph and their thumbprint on your document, otherwise it's null and void, that everything must come through them in order for it to be correct. If someone places themselves as a judge, a judge of everything, that every correctness must come through them and hand out, you know, judge, jury, execution, or this type of thing, that's an authoritarian construct. And if you're following that, you're an authoritarian follower. And again, this goes back to organized religion, same principles. And it goes back to the political system, one form or another. For example, the political system where I am right now, supposedly it was for the people, of the people, by the people. So that means the people are the government. But here, that's not the case at all. That is not the case at all. People, first of all, don't know what government means. They've never parsed it. And they assume or presume that this government has authority over them. So therefore, via fear, coercion, and bullying, they do what they're told because they just want to get on with their lives and they want things to get back to normal. Again, they don't know what normal is. And then they come up with things like the new normal. If people would just take the time to study the grammar, at least parse these things, they would get a better idea of what's a better, clear. they perhaps would get a clearer picture of what's going on. I'm not going to tell anyone that what they should or shouldn't do. That's a trespass. If someone's, if you ask someone a question, okay, here, let me put it in a personal uh, example. If I ask someone a question about closure, and, they, and it ruffles their feathers. They get upset. They start yelling. They start banging stuff around. Start cussing. Then I know that they don't have the answer. They don't have the closure that I just asked for. Because now they're trying to intimidate me into silence. I've had students come to me from other sectors in the quantum grammar community and tell me that their tutor actually called them stupid which is hilarious to me because these are individuals who are supposed to be pillars of the community, supposed to be helping people, and they're blaming the student for not being able to understand whatever they're saying. As a tutor, I've run into these scenarios. I have been asked questions that at the now space juncture that the question was asked, I did not know the answer. I was unsure. But I found that through faith in my skill and knowledge, I was actually able to come to the closure of the question in the now space by opening my mind and researching on the spot with the student. This has happened time and again. And I'll just say this here. The fastest way to learn is to teach. That's what I've found. I've been teaching for almost five years now and it has exponentially increased my knowledge past what it would have been if I wasn't teaching. Now, I know Colin David Eiferwin, Colin Miller talked about he used oxygen to increase his learning capacity. I don't know too much about that, but I do know that teaching increased mine for sure. So that's my little video on authoritarianism. I didn't plan on it going this long. So long story short, if you see someone yelling or someone swearing at you or trying to order you around and there's no good reason for it to happen, like, for example, you're not doing anything wrong, you're just making personal autonomous choices for yourself, that's authoritarianism. They're trying to bully you. Authoritarianism is another, just another, like a synonym in the fiction for bullying. You see those individuals that try and bottleneck the info, the data, 
that you can't do this, that, and the third unless you have their authorization, that's an authoritarian construct. I have nothing to do with anything like that. I teach autonomy through the grammar. All right, thanks for joining me. And I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel, or even if you dislike the video, um, any kind of reaction I'm very thankful and grateful for because it helps the algorithms on this uh, platform. Thanks.